Hello, and welcome to Europa Universals. I am Four. Jack of Ancient Gaming, and I'm joined by City of City Racer Game. Hello. And you said my name wrong. City Racer Gaming. Yeah, City of City Racer Gaming. Hey, sorry. Okay. I didn't realize I said it wrong. Last time we looked at navies, then we looked at militaries. This time we're in diplomatic mode, looking at diplomatic. Well, hold on. Stuff. First oh. thing we need to do, if you're in diplomacy, do you see the part that says enemies? Enemies. No. Not at all. I see it. Oh. See Naples, which is in a personal union with us. How do we know someone's no. an enemy? Up. Move the screen up? No. From where you were looking at. Oh! They're in the red. The Papal State, first fleet, no leader. The Papal State, second fleet, no leader. What are you looking at? These things? What are uh, these things? Might be Roma, no leader. No, no, go to diplomacy. I did click diplomacy already. What, what are you looking at? I'm in the diplomacy view. I'm looking at the big main screen. Should I be looking somewhere else? You click on the country's flag, and it should take you to diplomacy. Well, when you click on the country's flag, it takes you to this big outliner thing. And you want to click on the bird at the top. Okay, I clicked on the papal state. Uh, no, no not on the papal state. On our flag. Our country's flag. Oh. Do you see it? I went back to the political view, I guess. Political view? No. Click on our country's flag on the top left. Oh, oh! I'm dumb. That, the big old thing? Yeah. Oh my hell. That's our country's flag. Okay. Let me see if it's a false state here. In red. Okay, there should be a thing at the bottom right. What about Pope? Do you see? Eugenius the fourth. Okay, hold on. Bottom right. So you're on the Pope and you're in diplomacy. Do you see at the very bottom right? There's Open. an eyeball with a map. Open the diplomacy veil view for your own country. Alright. Alright. Do you I see? I take it negative ten means. No, you want to look at enemies. Do you see enemies? Yes. Okay. Hungary, England, and Castile. Now, Hungary. What do we do to you, Castile? It's just by default. Three countries. You have we countries. Have rival. Every rival country will pick three rivals if they can in the beginning of the game. And those ones picked us. So, we're not going to be able to get an alliance with Castile, England, or Hungary. They just won't like us, period. Wait, so making a rival is bad? No. Because it allows you to fabricate on them easier. It allows you to um, get power projection, which can give you bonuses. And it also improves relations with other countries that rival the same country as you. So it's very helpful. But our choices are, if you click the red flag below where it says rivals, it's red and black flags. Yeah, I would click that. Yeah, click that. Uh, it's brought up of a whole bunch. We could do talk. Austria, Burgundy, Castile, England, France. Okay, you're not Hungary, Hungary Mamluks, Ottoman, Pope, or Venice. But those you are you choices. Need, you just need to say these are our choices to choose. But reliable. don't click on any yet. Uh huh. We need to consider who are our allies to be. Now let's look at France. Click on France, and you're in their diplomacy view. Oh, oh, I need to click their country? Yeah. They have rivaled Burgundy, England, Castile. Okay. If we rival one of them, we will get bonuses. Does that make sense? Okay, I clicked on the France. I can click the diplomacy. Thank. Oh, we can declare war. Alliance actions. Yeah, click on that. Alliance actions? Yeah. See, so it says they probably will not accept, and it tells you why. One more positive than negative reason for an acceptance. Can I have negative? 24? 
they don't like us much. Our reputation is decent. Our navy's okay. But our army is very weak. And they're neutral. A few ways to control relations. First click on... Well, no. Okay. We cut... There's lots of things to do, but... Click on access actions. Alright. And you see the options? Ask for military access. The one that we would want, which is unavailable, because they don't want it, it's useless to them, is offer military access. So we need to boost our military. Give if, them a better standing of us? Well, if... And improve relations. But they won't accept military access, so we can't get a bonus that way. There's a few other things we could do, which we're not going to do. We can send them a gift. Why not do that? Because we don't have enough money for someone that big. It would never help. Improve relations. We can give them subsidies, which we also can't afford. We can ask them to give us some of their trade power, but they won't do it. I click the relations. So actions. now, there, there's two important things we need to look at. What happens if I click the improve relations? Well, we need to look at um, relations actions and dynastic actions. That's what I'm under. Why happens if I click improve relations? It'll start improving relations with us then. Uh, but t so it'll make them like us more over time, but use the diplomat. We also I need to look at diplomat, dynastic actions. See the one that says royal marriage? Yeah. Uh. And if you hover over it, they're very close. Do you see that? They're one away. Are you looking? Yeah. A royal marriage represents a marital union between the royal families of two countries. It will improve relations greatly. If you declare war against the nation with which you have a royal marriage, you will suffer greatly. Yeah, so it's more of a permanent alliance thing. Guess who we want to permanently ally? France. France. Do we really want the royal marriage, though? Oh, yeah. We want to stick with this guy as long as we can for a while. Besides, all you have to do... A royal marriage goes away when someone dies. It, it, I don't know exactly how it works. Depends on who offers the marriage. But basically, if someone's king dies, I don't know which is which. When one dies, there's a chance it'll end. Depending on who started it. It'll uh, always end. And that's important. So we want these guys. Do you want but me? we can't royal marry them. Not yet. But that will help get us an alliance. That will make us much more likely. So click improve relations. Click it? Yeah. And then it's going to ask you to confirm. Okay, I'll confirm. Yes. And look, already, they accept marriage, but if you have a royal marriage, see what it says? We recently sent a demo, we cannot send another t until 12th December 1444. Yeah, so it's um, a month delay. Uh, That's one of our diplomats. We want these guys to like us. Here's another thing we can do. We could rival one of their rivals. Burgundy, England, or Castile. Before we do that, click on the country of Austria. It's to the east. It's a big white guy. Let me go back into the flag view. Critical. Let's see. Austria. The big white guys. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. East of France. They're big and white. Their name's easy to spot. As long as they're not too far zoomed out. I'm zoomed in too far. There we go, Austria, and I see it. Click okay. on them. Yeah. They will give us an alliance right now. We do Who that? do they rival? Denmark, Venice, and the Ottomans. Can okay, we so rival... they're good to an alliance. Like... Wait, can we rival Denmark, Venice, or the Ottomans? We could do Venice. We could do the Ottomans. We probably would just do Venice if we do. Why do generally their rivals or their enemies? That's what a rival is. So Austria, we're going to improve relations, but for now we want to offer them an alliance. So click it. Yeah, hit confirm. 
I did. Ooh, we have a very good chance. Very high. Well, chance. that means no. When it says that means see the it's middle. It's mostly green versus red. But so, you see yeah. the middle line. Yeah. If the green is above that line, then it's guaranteed yes. Oh, okay then. So confirm. I, I confirmed it. We have another ally. Yeah, it won't confirm till tomorrow. After we unpause, we're not doing that yet. Are we gonna unpause yet? Now, Navarra. Do you see that little yellow guy wedged between us, Castile, France, and England? Up north. On the mainland. Uh, yeah, I found them. Click influence actions. So, diplomacy, influence. You see the one where it says offer vassalization. Yes. They're, now, they won't do it now. You must have one. You must, one, have a military alliance. Two, have a relation of at least plus 190. How do we do the military alliance? You have to offer an alliance. But it's best. Well, proclaiming guarantee is good, but improving relations. I would say. Okay. What we do we want to do first? Well, I haven't done an offer. Don't want to offer. I would say improve relations. Because the lower your relations, the faster they improve. So, improve relations now? Click it? Yes. Alrighty, yes. So those are uh, those three done. Next month we'll do more with Austria and France. So now we play We're not going to improve relations with Austria yet, because we want to get some other stuff locked in, with like uh, France. I want to get, get Brittany allied. We're not allying Brittany. Why not? They're a little guy. Let's help them out. Come on. Because we only have four total diplomatic relations. We're about to spend one on Austria. That's two. We're about to spend one on France, that's three. And we're about to spend one on Navarra, that's four. How's that four? That's one... That's because one we already have Naples. That's our first one. Oh. Uh, awesome. Okay. Uh, now. Well, I don't want to become part of France, nor do I want to peacefully annex France. We can't. Good. They're way too big. Now so we need we to pick should... rivals. I want to wait one how, how we do that? Okay. one day before we pick rivals. Because I want to see who Austria and France ally. Because we don't want to okay. accidentally rival any of their allies. But now, at the top of the screen, not in diplomacy view, without anything open, do you well, see the thing at the top of the screen where you got those different flags? You got one red one and a bunch of green ones, right? Yeah. Do you, you, you see the one where it says, uh, where it's got the red X? Production interface? Oh, no. Hang on. Uh, no mission selected. Yeah, click on that. We have a few missions. Prove prestige. Get a prestige of 50. That would give us one stability. That is an awesome mission, but it's very difficult to get early game. So we don't want to do that one. Solidify our papal relations. Make the Pope happy. That's easy. It goes papal influence point five. But do that one. Not necessarily. The next one is Vassal Navarra. Mission succeeds when Navarra is Vassal Aragon. And this is what we get. For ten years, get military expansionism. We get yearly prestige plus one. And manpower curve speed press ten percent. How do you know that? It tells you that on the envelope with the check. Oh, I remember that. Okay, there we go. So we should do this one thing. Can we do more than one? What? Can we do more no, than one? No. But oh. click Vasilis Navara. Click the the envelope. Okay. And it tells you both the kingdoms of Castile and France cast envious eyes on land Navarra. It would be disastrous to Aragon if these lands fell to either of them, so we must be proactive. Uh, what? Where's Navarra? That's the yellow guy. Oh. The small one province guy. <laughs> Whoops. We want this guy as our vassal. 
Okay, so the mission's been accepted now. Let's see, I don't think there's anything. Oh, uh, what? A, we can't have a policy yet, can we? Policy? No. What about a national decision? No. Now we have to decide. What is theocratic? Let's see. Okay, oh. It's time we leave the rule of the state. Though, We're not doing really... a theocratic. That makes uh -huh. us a theocracy. What's wrong with that? You have to council. A theocracy? A theocracy is government ruled by religion. Oh. And it's not very good. Uh, if you're right. They want that. A religion and government are kept separate for a reason. But we could do that. But it's not very good in this game. It used to be better. People used to love it. There's also oligarchic. Which basically, it's... An elite few rule. So, an elite I don't few want the rule. elite few rule. Let's see. It gives an oligarchic republic. We get some pretty nice stuff for doing it, but I don't really want to do it. Is there one it gives where... us more states. Is there one where... Now, plutocratic... Uh... Well, I mean, it's basically um, a merchant republic, I believe. Yeah, Is merchant case... republic. Right, the likelihood of merchants demanding political recognition is power increases. I think, are we going to rely on trade a lot? Uh, yeah. But we don't have to do that. We will never become a constitutional monarchy, though. They made it absolutely garbage. What? Why is it garbage? Because there's parliament, and parliament just makes your life difficult. Okay, so we don't need a national decision just yet. What I usually like doing is pretending I'm a constitutional monarchy. But usually I pick administrative. Of course, later on, there's better ones. Like an enlightened death. We want to wait on a national decision, basically. In the end, we'll probably be enlightened despotism. But we can't do that yet. We can expand? So, our stability is in between. That's good. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Play the game. You click on your government. What symbol is that? Oh yeah, I'm turning our army maintenance down. We don't need it. Ah, uh, there we go. It's the crown. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see the different no points? We need to do you see the ones where it's the three numbers, and they have a different symbol next to them? Yes. Military, diplomatic, administrative. Well, we might, f we can focus on one of them by clicking the symbol of the fist. It'll give us two to that um, category, but it'll take one from each of the other two. So it allows you to focus. I want more diplomacy. No, no, no. Don't click that. Why? We need to click on ideas. Now, we get our first idea group at That's five. It's the light bulb. Are you in ideas? I. Yes, I am now. Okay, you see where it says unlock national ideas five? Yeah. Do we click, do that? Click on that. Okay, whoa! These are all the ideas we can take. There's some great ones out there, like humanist. And exploration, stuff like that. I want a quality ideal. But then there's some really bad ones. Is quality like ideas a good one? Naval, Look, this one maritime, one. and especially espionage. Let's do the quality idea. We're not going to take that yet. Why? Because we want, um, an, we want to be able to colonize. Yeah. We need. An idea group to colonize. And we're going to take exploration first. And then, and then after that, we're going to take humanist. Because it makes ideas cheaper. Right, I'll click the exploration. We can't uh -huh. yet. Uh, and then at I the mean, end, we'll do administrative. I want to get the quality one. And then we'll the go into military. Quality and quantity. Well, you can eventually take both. And you probably want both in the end. But we're so gonna do 
How do we get these? We're gonna do exploration first because it makes it. Or we yeah, can I'm trying to click it. Nice. Right. Let's right. tech up first. We have to increase our tech first. But we want exploration just so we can colonize, uncolonized land. That's necessary for the type of game we're doing. We'll need okay. humanist after that. And then either administrative or expansion. It is humanist, yeah. It makes less revolts, ideas cheaper, and it makes you accept other people better. Oh! So it makes you less racist. Pretty much. No. Well, it makes you more accepting of others, right? But the main reason we want it early is the ideas are cheaper. Oh. Well, we don't want it first, so exploration is key. So, basically, if we get the humanist, then... We'll probably go exploration, we'll get humanist, expansion, then admin. And then qual. And then military. We'll decide what we want then. But that's a long way off. I definitely want quality. So, right now, we need to point. get to our first idea group. How do we do that? we got to get points and tech up. So go to your government it. one. Like that. And do you see the fist? The top fist with the symbol next to it. With the uh, paper and pen? Yeah. Yeah. And do you see what it says? Click to change your natural focused administrative power. Adding two to that power each month. Producing the other two by minus one. Yeah. We want to check that. Because we need admin okay. tech. We need admin tech to get the uh, the whatever the the ideas. So now that we've done that, it says you can only change your natural focus every twenty years. We'll be able to change it again, eleventh of November of fourteen sixty four. Okay, I think it's quite to get there. Well, in twenty years, we'll probably switch it to uh, Diplo. Do we want an advisor? We can afford one. At least. I think we need probably a diplomatic advisor I mean, first. We could get a military, but we don't but we don't need it yet. I think diplomacy is what we need first. No. We need admin tech. So we need an admin first? Besides so the diplo one, we can only afford a level one. And the only level one available is morale of navies. We don't want that. It sucks. Yeah. The admin one. I mean, we don't really need it. There's three. Yeah, but we want the bottom one. Because the cheapest. Why? Why not the other two? Like, but don't click on it yet. Giovanni Lodovici. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, good. Yeah, so we Doctor want. The queen is meant to correct. Standards. We want the, the missionary strength plus 2%. We don't have anything to convert. But the extra admin point a month. Okay, experience in rooting out those who do not follow proper unorthodoxy in the faith. Or orthodoxy, rather. The inquisitor can use his talents to spot those who are behaving strangely in government. We want this guy. Oh, so he helps weed out corruption. Well... Sort of. But the, so I just we just, the reason we want him is because he gives us an admin point every month. Oh. We need that. Alright, click him. Click. Yeah, click his picture. Yes. Recruit great person. Yeah. Now, our income is still good, but I don't want another one. Yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's now, the last thing we need to do is built some navies. So, our fleet, we went over before, eight galleys, 13 transports, three trade ships. I think we need more attack ships. Um, you probably. Let's go to okay. the ledger. At the bottom right below the map, do you see those yeah. buttons? Yep. Yeah. Click on the one that says ledger. Click it. Okay, it shows ledger index. Yes. Click on the one that says military. Got it. Navies. I click next. Yeah, yeah, click on navies. Okay. And then at the far right, there's force limit. Double click that. I did it. 
Oh, no, not force limit. No, we want the one that says total. Click Zero. So it's that. Click, click. click total again. We are at 24. Now, where's our rival? Our rival's Castillo. Rival no, Castillo. Castillo. They Very have okay. three heavies. We have eight galleys. Obviously, they're ahead of us. Oh, we need some more heavy ships then, right? That's exactly what we're going to want. Now, now, our current navy, in a little bit, we might destroy some ships. Some of our transports. Okay. Because we I don't need transports right now. But we'll do that in a little bit. So right now, we want to get some more boats. We can get I three just... more. So production interface, navy, Okay. And click on early Carrick. Uh, now, these will take a long time to build. Hang on, I'm, I'm lost. What do I do? You click on production interface, which is next to our flag. We did this before. Uh, is it? Let's see. The one where it shows the tools. Next to our flag. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Found it. Then click on Navy. On the right. Navy. Yeah, on the right. Naval units. Right. Naval units. And then click on Early Carrick. And Early don't Carrick. tell it to build one yet. But just look how long it'll take. 700 days. Now, go over... Hey, our best bet is to do the island over here. Well, what we want to do is... Days. You also got to think of distance. We'll do one in Palmero. Oh, we can only do one boat. Oh, well. That's all we're doing for now, then. All right. We'll have to make money. Okay. Hey, cool, dude. So now we're ready to pause. But that'll have to be next time. So, uh, thank you guys so much Ooh, for watching. Be. Make sure that you w go to my channel, uh, City Racer Gaming, which is linked below for the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you later. And I will see you in the future.